That was so surreal. Famously called film, Little Pieces of Time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay, I'm in class. Everything's cool. I'm okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black and white? I didn't fall asleep, and that sure didn't feel like a dream. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel faces. You feel look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. I feel like totally haunted by, haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? I should take a picture to prove I'm still here. Plus, it's perfect for my portfolio. And I have to get my data. I can't believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. But I like it old school. one of you could do that to me. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. What if Arbus chose to capture people at the I height? I do love my analog camera. I should take a quick picture now. So, she could have taken another approach. I have to admit. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portrait? <laughs> You're asking me? L let me think. Um... You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. <laughs> the daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces. I can't believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st the century. But I like it old school. By Robert Cornelius. You can find out all about him and your death. If family. anybody else looked at this, what would they think? You'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. I just worked so hard on this shot, and I'm sure you know what it's like to be consumed by your work. I just really think Everyday Heroes is an important cultural event, and I want to represent Blackwell Academy. You have just by participating, by putting yourself out there in the world. Now, no matter who wins, this is just a bump on a bigger road. Uh, Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Can't wait to watch this. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I didn't have any time. Way too much homework. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch-up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, 
All you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. About to. I feel like you have to pass you Welcome to the real world. The real world. Just cute. Credit card huh. for your parents. Then I might send you a special picture of your class. What's the point of even coming? Because Max wants everybody to see how fresh she writes for the real world. She plays it so <laughs> shy. I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Check. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. She's so fucking shy.